Hey everybody, Scott Gerlach with Stackhawk here with a Hawk Talk Quick Hit. Today we're talking about the getting started flow. When you sign up for the Stackhawk platform, you log in and we walk you through some getting started steps. So let's take a look at that now, shall we? So as you can see, I'm logged in. Uh, I've used my Google login, uh, which you can see by this indicator right here authorized through Google, it's, it collected my name and my email address. And the very first thing we're asking you for is your organization name. Don't worry, don't stress out about this, you can change it later. Uh, but you can make this anything you want or not change it at all. I personally would like to get into some brewing, so let's be aspirational, shall we? I want to change the name of this to be award-winning brewer Scott Gerlach's org. We're not only going to do app scans, we're going to make great beer. So we click next. And this very next screen explains what's going to happen here. So we're going to work, walk through creating a YAML environment file. We're going to put that YAML into our code base, and then we're going to run the scanner, HawkScan, via Docker command. So the very next thing we do is click the next button. Right here, the what we're gonna start with is creating an API key. So API keys are really important in Stackhawk. It's how the scanner communicates back and forth with the platform. This is how scan results get loaded. This is how integrations will work in the future. So let's generate an API key. So here we've made an API key. Uh, you can save this key in your password save or whatever, wherever place you'd like to save it. We also include these commands here to be able to save this API key to your file system to put it into your environment. So I'm gonna copy this and put that into my environment locally. And now I've got that all set up. So now that it's in my environment, I'm gonna click the configure scan button. Before we do that, we do a gentle reminder, gently, to save your API key. If you don't save it and you get stuck here, you can always come back and create a new one. That's under account settings. So we'll continue. Now we're into configure scan. So there's a couple of questions we ask here. And these are pretty important, but we're gonna help pre-populate the configuration file for you. So the first thing we're asking for is your application name. This can be a repo name, it can be the name of the URL, it can be anything you want. Today we're gonna to be playing with my vulnerable Django app. So we're gonna call this Volney Django. The very next part of this is the environment. At Stackhawk, we advocate for scanning early, scan often. So I'm gonna go with my development environment. And then the last one here is the host. So my Django app runs on my local host on port 8020. So I'm gonna enter that here. Localhost 8020. That's all the stuff I need. So now we're gonna click deploy and scan. Two things are important here. The application ID, that's the ID that the scanner knows how to group results as you scan over time. And then we've got to download the Stackhawk YAML file. So when we click this button, it's gonna download a pre-populated configuration file for the Stackhawk scanner HawkScan, and we'll be able to start our scan with the commands that are down below. So I'm gonna download this YAML. As you can see, the download started, and off the screen, I've saved this YAML file. And then we've included the commands to be able to run the scanner. So the ver very first thing is putting the API key into your environment. So sourcing that Hawk RC file. And then the very next thing is running the Docker command that will run HawkScan. So if you don't have the Docker image of HawkScan downloaded, this command will actually start that download for you, then fire up the scanner. So I'm gonna copy this command into my terminal. And then I'm gonna click view scan results. As you can see, the portal's now waiting for us to start a scan. So I'm gonna go ahead and start a scan and we'll see what happens. All right, there we have it. We've got a scan started. HawkScan is collecting information about my running app. As soon as it's done scanning the application, I can come back in here, check out all the results that it's found and start troubleshooting those things. All right, there you have it. That's a quick overview of getting started with Stackhawk and the Hawk Scan Scanner. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.